today I'm actually going to be showing some of my favorite thrift items that I've thrifted. I just used that word two times in one sentence. I have actually am really new to thrifting. I started back in like August of 2017, so I'm not that new, but at least like relatively new. It hasn't been a year yet. Mainly a lot of people do it for clothes, but I try to do it with like plush toys and, and books, some stuff that I really don't need. But it's just really fun. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. And there's a lot of treasures that are related to fandom, uh, related stuff that I've thrifted. And I'm like, wow. Like sometimes I do get really lucky and sometimes there isn't that much. And I do thrift clothes from time to time, but they're not really that relevant in the theme of this channel. So I decided to do the things that are when it comes to fandom and anime and etc. So with that, let us get started. So one of the first things I've ever thrifted was this Big Hero 6 uh, Baymax uh, armor toy. Uh, this I remember seeing this at uh, the Disney store when it was still when Big Hero 6 was still new, and I just remember him being like twenty dollars. Uh, but he was like in really nice condition. The only in the thrift store. The only thing is he doesn't have his arm that he like releases in the movie but I was fine with that and I think when I bought him he was like two dollars but and for two dollars for something like this like that's amazing to me when I first thrifted it. And the cool thing with the Baymax thing that wasn't the only thing that I found at that same time I was at the thrift store and I was with my friend Allison who lives thrifting with me also but at the same time I actually thrifted a Kotori plush uh, the from the San X line, you know, the little bird that's always with Rilakkuma and Ko Rilakkuma. And I was amazed because usually when you go to thrift stores, you see a lot of things that are Disney or Sanrio, but they're not really officially licensed by Sanrio. You get the things that are um, quote-unquote knockoffs that you see uh, you know, when you win something from the, like, fair or something. But this one was an actual, officially licensed Sanex. So when I saw it for, like, 49 cents, this is how much I got this one. Because I know these plushes, at least the bigger Sanex plushes, can range up to $20. Uh, I've never, like, go went and checked, like, officially how much this thing costs. But I'm guessing around that range, just because I know Sanrio likes to... <laughs> likes to jack up prices and even more so with like Sanrio and Ochi. So the next few things are a lot of plushies. Uh, that was the main thing going in when I first found the uh, the Kotori plush and uh, the next one is also Disney related. It is uh, Perry the Platypus Pillow Pet. I also bought this from the store. If I remember correctly it was like two dollars ish and it was in pretty good condition. I washed it really well because, you know, this is something I lay on and lay on, like, personally. So I didn't want to make... I wanted to make sure there was, like, no bugs or anything on it. But he is very nice and soft. And I know Hello Pets, at least the Disney ones, are, like, $20, $25. So I was amazed to find this one um, when I saw it. And I just really, really liked it. And sometimes when I go to the thrift stores, I'm like, why Why did you give it away? Like, I understand for some plushies, as I gave away some of my plushies for donation, like, I see why. But for things like this, I feel like even if you don't like the thing anymore, you can still use it as a good pillow. So another one is the, it's a Finding Nemo on a Nemo um, <laughs> plushie from the Disney store. Again, a lot of Disney store plushies are like $20-$25 uh, and I was lucky to find him a lot a lot of the times in my thrift store uh, a lot of official Disney merch from the Disney store or the like you know Walt Disney World come and show up and I'm always excited to see them if I really like the character I'll buy it and it was a funny story about this one is that I completely forgot that Nemo had a weird fin so when I was getting it with my sister I was like, oh, maybe you shouldn't buy it because he has, his fin is not like the same. And then my sister reminded me, but that's the point. That's why you watched the first five minutes and cried because everyone died. Now moving on to things that I did not expect to find at the thrift store. Or at least I kind of 
had an inkling but you know it's a really rare chance I would and it's mainly like anime stuff or like stuff that is from Asia and one of them being this uh, like reaching so you can't see this Mashumaru uh, Mashumaru Mashumaru uh, plushie and uh, Mashumaru is a uh, a pl or character from Korea and when I saw it, I was like, I know that character because I remember that when I was young, I had a stationary set from the Philippines with this character on it. So I was like, I remember it. And it was really cute. And this thing is really soft also. I usually lay on this when I go to sleep along with a parry and along with my other pillows. But I believe he was around like a dollar-ish, if I can remember. Um... The cool thing about my thrift store is a lot of things get discounted after a while if no one's buying them. And it makes sense because if you have more readily available things like Disney items that people, general audience like knows about, they're not really going to go on sales. But for things that are Asian related, someone will end up picking them up later, but they'll stay a little more in the stores after a while. Uh, <laughs> So this was the one that was, I think, discounted to around like a dollar or like even cents wise because no one knew what it was, but I knew what it was. So I was lucky to find him. Another one which I was really surprised to find was actually a Doraemon plush from the thrift store and it's really cute. I had another one, but I gave that to my friend Mia for Christmas uh, and she really liked it and I was just amazed because this Doraemon is a very older anime, so I was just like, what? Like, who would give this away? It's it's just like so, I don't know, so cute. And I remember it was also discounted at a price for like a dollar-ish thing because, of course, because it's an old Japanese anime, not that many people knew about it, so they went on sale. So I really liked it. Um, it actually has a speaker box in the butt that you can put... Um, the batteries in and then it'll talk but I've never actually tried it because it has the special batteries like for the watches not the ones you have so sadly unless I can find a battery like that I cannot see if this actually works with the voice activator but if anything it's still really cute another thing I'm going to showcase is this Kaleido a Pokemon uh, he is one of the legendary Pokemons or just in general like a mystic Pokemon if I am remembering correctly. I just skipped this generation of like playing Pokemon. I think I skipped the game he was in so I don't really, I'm not really familiar with it. It just drawn to me because I was like, wait, I know that's a Pokemon because I can clearly tell it's, <laughs> it is. But what really drew, drew me to it is because it is from Japan. Um, I checked the tag and it's from Bon Presto and Bon Presto is mainly a, you know, prize figure company and prize thing company. So I'm guessing this is probably from those like UFO catchers. So you might be thinking, why do you got a binder? Are you going to show us some homework? No, this binder actually collects, uh, collects, well I am collecting. This binder actually holds Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon cards that I've actually thrifted from the thrift store which was something I never expected to thrift here because cards, mostly, they're baseball cards if I ever see them, but there occasionally are Yu-Gi-Oh cards and um, Pokemon cards that surface and those take a little more time to um, actually look through because they're usually in my store, they're in a plastic bag and they're like turned inside in so you can't really see the cards but because they're still in a plastic bag you can kind of see it on the side if you flip really slowly so you don't also open it because that's rude to open something that you're not gonna buy so me and my sister actually tried to uh, we, we actually did that and like probably spent like 30 minutes at the thrift store like looking in the plastic bags searching for more of the cards that are more um, Pokemon and also more Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are actual things instead of like you know the elemental power things like the you know the water the fire that everyone gets in their booster pack that I'd rather just get Pokemon out of so I am gonna like flip through here but I'm but most of this cards uh, all of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards actually are things that I've bought for the thrift store because I usually liked I liked Yu-Gi-Oh when I was younger but the problem was that it was either Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon cards that I had to collect because 
and they have money when you're like seven year old seven year old to actually buy them so i picked pokemon cards because of course they were cuter uh <laughs> for me and these are all the ones that i have uh they're a mixture from the gx the original Yu-Gi-Oh, and i think maybe possibly 5ds but mostly when i looked over it again it was mainly the original Yu-Gi-Oh and the gx um here are my pokemon cards uh, and some of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards uh, for a majority of the things in here they're things I bought at the thrift store I think there's about like 10 cards that I did not buy at the thrift store um, but what was cool about it was that when I was buying it with my sister we found packs and we were able to get like 10 legendary uh, Pokemon cards uh, that uh, like Lugia, L L L Lugia, Latias Adios, uh, Entei, and a lot of other characters. So I was like impressed uh, about it. And <laughs> we've never had that luck since, but I mean, we like cleared that store out of Pokemon cards. So yeah, that's just homework and here's the power cards. So now I'm gonna move on to the last portion of my thrifting, my favorite thrifts, and it's books. I've always expected that I would occasionally find a manga um, but I never <laughs> expected to find a whole collection of manga, and not just any manga, yaoi manga, PL manga. I was like freaking out at the store by myself because I went by myself. Um, for me, I, I have no problem with BL manga and yaoi manga, but I have a feeling that <laughs> they were not, un no one knew what they were, so they were untouched. And also, of these some of these volumes not gonna lie i was like should i really buy them because they it's hard <laughs> it's hard to like actually go check them out like you know but purchase these things because my cash register ended up being a 20 year old male these were like books that were like 89 cents when we in like originally if you look at one bl manga they're like 15 dollars because they're like saran wrapped and everything and they're not really readily available because explicit reasons but yeah so ugh. these are the books and i just really wanted to do this video because of these books this first one is not actually a yaoi book it's more of a cross-dressing book this is uh princess princess i think uh this one's really cute and i decided to get it because it looked interesting but the rest are yaoi the rest are yaoi <laughs> and i have the original price this is a dollar oh nine and this wasn't on sale but a lot of the things were on sale when i first bought them because of course, no one in their right mind is going to buy some <laughs> some BL books at the thrift store for 89 cents. It's, it's just weird, but I was that person. <laughs> so, first one is Le Crushing Love. That's It seems like a newer title. This was $1.09 too, but it has a green, so I was assuming it was on... I think I remember it was like 25% off. So... It became like 89 cents. Stop talking. But these are like really good beauticians. Here's another one. La Via and Rose. I was amazed. I, whoever took care of these manga before, applaud to you because um, you took care really good at your manga. That didn't even make any sense. You took really good care of your manga. There you go. That's, that's my thing. Okay, next. <laughs> uh, Free Fall Romance. Uh, this one is an older title as opposed to the two that I just showed. And then here is Love Training. I tried to get... I didn't get all of the yaoi manga because I was like... I was alone. I didn't get myself a cart. And I was like, I don't want to get everything. Because some of the other ones... I tried to pick the ones on the cover that were not as obvious that they would be yaoi manga. Next one is The Paradise on the Hill. This one's actually, I think, a newer one too. Melted Lobe? That's just such a weird name for a manga. A Melted Lobe. And I'm like, <laughs> squinting Kashin Fu. And then the last one, I the BL manga, it is Same Cell 
organism. You know, when I first saw this, I thought I said a different word, but yeah, same cell organism. That was probably my best find though at the thrift store, to be honest. It gave me a bunch of laughs and saved me like 90 bucks. But yeah, those are the thing, my favorite things that I've thrifted. Hopefully it inspired you to go thrifting. Um, and I know these are some things that maybe you will never find at your thrift store, but that's the magic of going to the thrift store. You never know what you're going to find. And also a disclaimer, I do live in a culturally diverse area. So because of that, a lot of people have different interests, different interests. And because we have a lot of Asians also in our, um, uh, in my community, uh, stuff like this like manga does occur sometimes but i hope you go ahead and go thrift and i hope you enjoyed this video i know it's not a diy which i'm really known for or something more anime related um depending on when this video goes up i actually have a vlog coming out soon where i go to the studio ghibli museum not museum not a museum it's actually a papa store where i go with my friends but I don't know how this video is going to like play in, so that video might go first, this might go second. Don't know, but, so, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye!